We're going to have another shave with Barbus coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watch series everywhere. It's Barbara Georgetune.com. I'm back in our video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Great to see you again. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, uh, a viewer on my channel named Big Dude Barbus has a, an online retail store where he sells all things Barbus. And he very kindly uh, sent me some samples. We reviewed uh, the Barbus Original Shaving Cream. I've also reviewed the Barbus Shaving Soap. Both of these are terrific. Now, Big Dude sent me uh, the shaving cream. He also sent me the uh, the aftershave. This was terrific. The shaving cream was very, very good. I liked them both. I really did. But he also sent me some samples of uh, some other Barbus products. Uh, that have a different sense, and that's what we're going to be using today. So we're going to be shaving with a Barbus uh, Sport Cream. It looks like Barbus Shaving Cream Sport. That's how he has it labeled there. Okay, so we're going to be shaving with this. He did give me uh, a bit of a sample here, and that's a really nice, fresh, red, a sport, active-like scent. So we're going to use that. We're going to do a face lather. We're going to put some of this in the knot of my Star Wisp shaving brush from Phoenix Shaving. And we're going to finish it off with uh, my Allen Block from uh, Phoenix Shaving with the no slip grip and the dry dock system. Uh, and also uh, some of the samples that he gave me. He gave me Barbus Prestige aftershave in a spray. So we're going to really spray that liberally uh, after the shave, post shave, spray that clean shaven face very liberally. And he also gave me some Barbus Active aftershave ball. So I'm looking forward to using both of these, kind of sampling the scent. I am going to be using uh, my vintage Gillette Slim Adjustable Razor. And we're going to be using a uh, Phoenix Shaving Platinum Strangelet Razor Blade. Second shave for this razor blade. So we'll just set that in there like that. And we'll close that up. We'll give it that twist to close it. Well, actually, let's open it back up and let's adjust it to five. We're going to start at five. Now we'll give it a qu qu that quarter turn twist to close everything up. Uh, everything is really nicely aligned. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautifully re-chromed uh, by RazorPlate.com and Chris Evett. Thank you again, Chris Evett. It was just absolutely terrific, terrific job. So let me just move some of this stuff out of the way here. I have my brush soaking already. And uh, hang on, let me just move this one out of the way. Okay, kind of clear the deck a little bit. So let's wet the, let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. I got one day's worth of growth here. So let me just get a little bit of this right here. Let's take a little bit of this shaving cream right here. Okay. Well, that looks like it's... I don't know if that's a soap or a cream, to be perfectly honest with you, but I am going to put it in my brush here. I'm just going to, you know what, I'm just going to put it in the brush like that, and I'm going to do a face lather right from there. I'm just going to work it in the brush there. It's kind of a, yeah, I think it's a cream. It might be a soap, I don't know, but we're just going to put it in there, and we're going to just build a lather right from there. Okay, here we go. Beautiful scent. This is a really nice scent. Wow, just that little bit, and it's really starting to build a nice lather. Look at that. You know, take a look at the simple container he gave me. I got that much right there. I'm thinking you could probably travel this for a weekend getaway with something like that. Take a little bit of this, 
put it in a, a container like that, and you're good to go. Look how much, look how much I'm getting right here. Oh, wow! And that is a nice, nice French, fresh scent. Man. Boom! Lather! Look at that! That is really... I'm surprised. I... <laughs> wow! Well, big dude, you're going to have to tell me if this is a shaving cream. Let's see. Barbus shaving cream. Yeah, it's a shaving cream. He's got it marked as a cream. So it's not a soap. It's a shaving cream. So, wow. That's terrific. I love... Doing a face lather with shaving cream when I get something out of the tube or, uh, you know, pulling it out of a tub and just doing a face lather. I become more and more of a face latherer. Okay, now, that's great. Now I got my brush scuttle right here, my Phoenix shaving brush scuttle. So we're going to put that in there so it stays nice and warm. So let's get this uh, razor set to five. We're going to put it under some hot, hot, hot water. Second use of a really good razor blade, and I want to do a second use of it to show you that it's just going to be a great shave with a blade that has just one use on it. The second, second use of this blade is going to be wonderful. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's, that's, a, that's a really, really nice blade but it's a really nice smooth pass here because of the nice glide and protection i'm getting from this shaving cream that's that's very nice Wow, that five on this slim is is getting up there for me, as as, you, as many of you already know. Of course, I'm not using any pre-shave, just right to the shaving cream. Not bad getting the upper lip and some of those bits underneath the nostrils, although the east to west is going to clean it up much, much more. All right, so there's the profile the razor had there. Not bad. All right, uh, first pass done. Let's rinse. Good first pass, socially acceptable right now. Let's do pass number two. Probably going to be a two-pass shave. Uh, given the quality of the shaving cream, the protection that I got, and the, the blade, here is the, uh, the brush. I've got plenty of cream in there to get a second pass. And again, I think I, I, I only used a little bit because I don't have much of it, really. Uh, I just have, you know, I just have a little bit here. Now look, I, this is the first time I've used it. And you can see I took a little bit, but there's not a lot there. But you know what? I am getting quite a bit of lather from the amount I took. Look at that. That's nice. Beautiful scent. I really like this scent a lot. Very different from the original Barvis scent. This one, they named it correctly when they named it Sport. It does have that active, fresh kind of a scent. All right. Okay, let's, uh, you know what? let's do this. Let's open this up and let's turn this down one notch. And let's... Uh, Okay, we, we've got a turn here, quarter turn. So we're going to do this next pass at pass at level four. This next pass is at level four. We're going to go uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain.
My name is slickness for me to go over that area, even though there's no shaving cream there. A lot of nice residual slickness there. Well, that's, that's nice. It's, it's giving me a really nice shave. Again, I'm feeling a lot of residual slickness there and kind of just going over some, some areas. General rule is once you've shaved away an area and no, you no longer see any shaving cream, just move on. Well, you know, with this, there's, there is that little bit of residual slickness where I can kind of go back a little bit. Ordinarily, I wouldn't do that, but this, this, this shaving cream seems to allow me to do that. Okay. Yeah, getting getting underneath the nostrils very nicely. Now the, the the end tabs of the razor blade in these Gillette Super Speeds or Slims. This is a Slim. Tend to, uh, you see that there there there's a little bit of exposure there, but not a lot that's going to get in the way. Not 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 that much that's going to get in the way. You still have to be careful when you're going up underneath the nostril. I kind of felt the uh, the blade tab a little bit there, but you know if you use a, a nice light touch and you go slowly. You should be okay. You won't tag yourself. And I certainly didn't tag myself. Second pass done. Let's rinse. <laughs> I'm done. That's a really nice shave. But let's see how much we have in the brush. We'll just do we'll just do this for uh, purposes of showing you how much lather we have left here in the brush. And we have a nice amount. So if you want to do a quick, light third pass uh, or a touch-up, you'll have plenty here. And again, uh, this, I didn't have a lot in the sample, and I'm trying to gauge myself in case I have to shoot a second video with this. But this, this is plenty. I could put a little bit of just a little bit of water on the tips there. Generate a little more if I wanted to. There you go. Come brings it right back. So I can just get a little more. Well, you could say get a little more of a thicker coating. Okay, we'll show, show you here like this. See? Like that. Okay. Nice and warm, too, from the brush scuttle. Love that brush scuttle. Okay, so let's, uh, let's turn this down to three. Okay, three right there. And we'll just give it that quarter turn to lock everything in place. Okay, we're going to go with pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain. Oh, yeah, that's, that's terrific. Just a nice, light, kind of a pickup pass. I think I got everything, but this might get uh, maybe maybe some stray areas here and there. Maybe get things a little closer. Got the chin very, very well. 
All right, third pass done. Let's rinse. Yeah, I needed that third splash. Boy, that's a nice, close shave. The shaving cream did a really nice job. I wish I had a tube to show you or whatever it comes in. I don't know. All I got was this, but boy, that's nice. That's all. I love the scent. Really, really terrific. We're going to do my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. Oh, that's terrific. That's a nice close shave. That really is. We're going to move it over to the uh, cold water side and do my cold water rinse. Close my pores. Okay, that's good and cold. Here we go. Cold water rinse. Oh, that's nice. That's terrific. What a nice shave. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, run the alum block on some wa cold water here. See what kind of feedback we got. I, I'm telling you, I, this is a close shave. This is a really nice close shave. All right, here we go. That's nice and smooth. I get some nice bracing from the alum block, and I am getting, well, I'm not getting any zings that I know of. No, certainly no stinging, but man, that's nice. That's terrific. In the dry dock, let the air in the room do the rest of the work in drying that out. All right, here, here's the brush. You saw me pull some out there, so I don't know how much. Look, oh man, I got some left. I got some left. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Like I say, I didn't, I didn't use a lot of this uh, cream. I was a little bit confused. I thought maybe it might have been a softer soap, but it's a shaving cream, and I think it's been in this container a little bit longer. And um, I think that uh, uh, probably coming out of a tube or however it comes out uh, will give you a little more of an indication of its softness, that sort of thing. And it's something this small I can't really tell. But uh, I do have enough probably for, I would say, two, three more shaves, depending on how much I use and how many passes I do. But uh, that's terrific. I'm going to lock that up and put that aside. That's really, really very, very nice. Okay, so here is the, uh, the Prestige. Uh, this is uh, an aftershave, I believe. And uh, he gave it to me in a spray bottle. So we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, I'll put some, I'm going to put some on my hand here like this. There we go. Slap that on. That's nice. Again, that's a, a, a different scent from the, um, from the regular Barbas. Um, no, actually, it's, it's, yeah, Prestige. That's what I'm using. I'm using the Prestige. And we are going to use some of the Barbas Active uh, Aftershave Balm. Uh, did I confuse these? Hang on a minute. Let me see here because he had these things. Okay. And, oh, yeah. See, I wanted to use the... I wanted to, I'm so sorry. I wanted to use the Active with the Active Balm, but I'm using the Prestige. Prestige is nice. <laughs> Prestige is surprisingly nice. It's... Um, it is a little more refined than the regular Barbas uh, aftershave. Yeah, it has a little more of a gentlemanly quality to it. I like it. But uh, we'll use the Barbas Active and see what, see how it complements the Prestige. Oh, nice. Very nice. We'll use it for upstairs. Okay. It is quickly absorbing. It is... Very much non-greasy. It's quickly absorbed. And it has a nice scent that complements the prestige. 
Great shave. You know, my, my, my apologies for getting my wires crossed there, but he gave me samples and similar bottles with labels and in doing this video I, <laughs> I should have looked a little more closely because I have a prestige aftershave here I've got an active aftershave here I've got an active balm here I've got another active aftershave here I've got another prestige aftershave here and I've got a uh, Barbus uh, active aftershave uh, gel with keratin. Looking forward to using this as well. So he gave me a nice assortment of uh, samples. They gave me a really nice close shave. This is a BBS shave. This definitely is a BBS shave. I was done after two passes. The third pass really got close, but no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Really wonderful. And the scent of all three of these products, and maybe it's good that I kind of mixed them all up. This the Sport Shaving Cream, the Prestige Aftershave, and the Active Aftershave Balm all uh, combined and got along together very, very well. And yeah, that's a nice, nice result. And the Prestige Aftershave really does have a very, very nice scent. There it is right there. It has a very, very nice scent. It is very refined and uh, very gentlemanly. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it, 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 again, it has, for lack of a better word right now, it has a little more refinement than, uh, the regular Barbus aftershave. Although this is very good. I put this right up there with Prosso and a few others. It's got a really nice scent and a really nice kick, but that really goes along with the more traditional Barbus sh shave cream and shave soap. These are really a, this is a really nice combination so i enjoyed the shave so my thanks to big dude barbers for uh passing along these samples i hope to get another shave or two or three from this sports shaving cream and i am certainly going to use uh these this these are going to go a long way too uh really enjoyed that so thank you again big dude barbers i really do appreciate it i'll have a link to his online uh, establishment where you can get all things barbers from him. And by the way, that Phoenix Shaving Platinum Strangelet Blade, second uh, shave with that, that did a wonderful job in this Gillette uh, Slim. Absolutely fantastic. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized, so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.